I'm at Manchester Airport right now, and just about to get on my flight to Frankfurt. Um, which from there, I'm going to be going to Hong Kong. It's, um, it's about six, no, it's about seven actually. It's about 7 a.m. I'm really tired. But yeah, I'm excited. Um, got my coffee. And then I bought <laughs> I bought a 4.10 croissant. How much is Disgusting. It's so expensive. But yeah, I'll see you guys at Frankfurt. Yo, what's up guys? Um, just landed in Frankfurt. Um, I've got about an eight and a half hour wait. Um, flight was okay, not too bad. It wasn't rocky or anything, so um, that's always a good sign. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be here for eight hours, so I'm just gonna be, it's gonna be chilling to be honest. Um, my parents are actually flying from um, Belfast as well. Um, so they're gonna be landing in like about about two hours time. So I'm probably just gonna wait for them, get some food, probably watch some some series or whatever. Or to be honest, I'm just gonna be talking to my parents and catching up with them. Because I haven't seen them uh, for a couple of months now, so uh, plenty of things to catch up on. And yeah, airport's nice. I think I've been here before. I can't remember when I when I went to Frankfurt, but uh, I've been here before and it's really, really nice. Um, everyone's lovely, uh, airport's nice, food's nice, can't complain. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be slowly getting used to, to vlogging in public. It's very awkward for me, but hey, whatever. I'm gonna, gonna have to do it at some point. But yeah, um, yeah, I mean, that's really it. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys enjoy, or if you guys are enjoying the vlog, yeah, why not give me a like, hit the subscribe button as well, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the plane. Just landed in Hong Kong. Had to do all the tests. Had to go through all the lateral flow tests, but you now we're in. We're fine. It only took a little while, but the flight itself was okay. It was pretty bad, to be honest. Like um, my back sore, my legs sore, and the food was okay. But um, we're gonna go back to our sister's flat, get some food, get some rest, and uh, I'll show a little bit about it. But yeah, see you guys in a bit. Good morning everyone, it is officially day one of Hong Kong, um, yeah, I was, um, I was kind of scared I wouldn't sleep on the first day because the first day you're pretty much fully jet lagged, but um, I'm actually okay, I just slept a good um, six hours, um, it's about, what time is it now, it's about half ten right now, my parents are still sleeping, so I just thought I'd come out do a bit of exploring 
because I don't really want to waste time like just sitting inside and stuff like that. So, um, gonna go out, get a few things. I might grab a bite somewhere. I'm not too sure. I kind of want to wait. I kind of want to wait for my my parents uh, to get off first. But um, yeah, let's do it. Oh my god. I have to try this sometime. Can I get a hoy? <laughs> so I'm so fucking mature, dude. <laughs> So my parents eventually woke up and we saw these lovely psycho puddings which was really nice so I would highly recommend if you see them. Um, you can pretty much get these in like every bakery um, in Hong Kong so definitely try it out. And um, pretty much just walked about you know just taking in the atmosphere and just enjoy spending time with each other because I don't really see my parents often. Um, the next clips that you're going to see is pretty much just a montage of all the foods that we ate um, on the first week. Um, I didn't do too many shots of me speaking because I didn't feel completely comfortable, but in the next video you'll see me talk a little bit more. Um, but anyway, we went to this marketplace to eat some true local food in Sung Soi, and this place was particularly popular for congee, and what you're seeing here is um, some char siu chung fan, um, which is like a rice noodle roll, and then you got this uh, yu tao, which is Pronounced in Cantonese as yu jia guai. And this is pretty much like a fried churro that you dip in your congee. Um, it's really good. Now afterwards we went to this uh, shopping mall in Sha Tin, which is one of my favorite shopping malls to go for sh food and shopping. And Oh, you gotta check out this. This is an, a walking air humidifier. Um, this pretty much goes around the shopping mall, which is pretty cool. But imagine if you saw that in the UK. That thing would get trashed up real good. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I love it. I love this place. Um, for dinner, we went to this place called Tonkachi Tonkatsu Seafood, which is in the food court at Sha Tin. Um, it was pretty good, but I would say the fillet was too meaty and the scallops were better. Um, but still, pretty good. I would give it like a, I would give it a 6, 7, 9, 10. Not too bad. Um, the next day, uh, we went to Mong Kok. Um, we decided to go to this um, brunch place called Posit. Um, I went with my sister and brother-in-law, which is, yeah, like I said, located in Mong Kok. <laughs> I don't know why I'm repeating myself. And the venue was pretty nice and nice and modern. Vibes were good. People were nice. And I got myself like this hojicha latte. Um, sister and brother-in-law got a hot, nice latte. For food, I got an Eggs Benedict because I knew I'd be eating a lot of Asian food. So it was pretty nice to try some Western-style dishes um, made in Hong Kong. I give a give it like a 6 out of 10. Could have done with a bit more hollandaise sauce. Um, yeah, this is... This was honey glazed sausage, I believe. And yeah, pretty good. Interesting, I would say. <laughs> um, and then you can see on the right there, there's some spicy chicken wings for that protein. Loved it. Pretty nice. Definitely give it a try. And then after food, we went to Mongo major shopping mall to burn also calories empty out our wallets um we were just like kind of walking about and then oh this is the the long ass escalator that thing went on for like ages i'm not gonna lie um but the views are really really nice at the top so 
Um, yeah. Uh, we eventually went to this arcade center. Um, so basically, this game is where you throw tokens and try to get it in between the lines of the colors. And if you're successful, you get a you get a prize. Pretty pog. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty shit at it. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty shit at it. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm just never good at these kind of games. Um, but yeah, this is the views outside. And then to end things off, I had to try out this fresh tea place. I got um, called Simply Tea. I got a butterfly pea and lime yogurt smoothie, which is pretty decent. It has this flowery taste though, which I wasn't a big fan of, but it's still really refreshing. And of course, you know, when you go anywhere in the world, you gotta try the McDonald's. Look at all the options McDonald's has to offer in Hong Kong. It was unbelievable. I went for the spicy chicken burger, which is an eight out of 10, hands down, because they actually use like proper chicken thighs. And then top things off, went for a lemon Coke, made with real lemon. They actually chop up the lemon. And um, yeah, that was, oh dude, so good. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty much week one of Hong Kong. And there will be another vlog. So if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more of this kind of content, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And I want to know how many of you guys have actually been to Hong Kong? And would you go in the near future? But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Ciao.